Hey guys, it is really hard to believe. 150 million views, just about a million subscribers, 11 years and 1,000 videos. That's how far Cook and Share has come. On this 1,000th video, I'd like to go back in time and reflect on some of the videos and some of the memories here at Cook and Share. So stick with me and let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna start by going back to March 22nd, 2011, with a dish called Beef Calderetta. First step is to heat some cooking oil in a pan and add your onion, garlic, tomato. It's amazing, guys, how shaky the camera is. Like, we didn't have a tripod or anything like that. And you can see the pixels aren't that great. Um, the camera I bought was like 60, 70 bucks and with no intention of shooting cooking videos, but that's what it turned out to be. But all in all, it got the job done. And I should mention this was shot in Ansung, South Korea. And uh, I taught English there for six years and it was our first apartment. And believe it or not, without the word of a lie, this apartment was like a six foot by six foot little gas burner and two cupboards and a tiny little sink. And that was it. And that's where we started our videos. And if you can see, you can look at the backdrop there, kind of interesting. I'm just gonna pause the video here for a second. And if you look at this stove, this little gas burner down here, like I said, the video was shot 10, 11 years ago. And if you look up here, I'm in the right top corner. <laughs> We're still using this stove to shoot and cook until this date. Amazing. It's an old propane stove. I think we paid, I don't know, 30,000 won, which is about 30 bucks for, and still using. Maybe it's time to get a new one. And not necessarily in this video, but some of the ingredients are really hard to get. And uh, what we had to do, such as uh, Dijon mustard, hollandaise sauce, stuff like that, a lot of the films we shot and a lot of the recipes, we had to make the videos from scratch, or the videos from scratch. I should say the ingredients from scratch, which was a good thing. I mean, we learned a lot and produced some uh, how-to videos on that. And that was our Beef Calderetta from March 22nd, 2011. It was actually really delicious. I would encourage you to go back and, and rewatch the video and maybe try making it. Next up, guys, we're going to move ahead three years to July 2nd, 2014. And this is our Victoria sponge cake. Hey everybody, this is Dave from Cook and Share, and today we're making up this light and delicious Victoria sponge cake named after Queen Victoria because she favored it with her afternoon tea. I know you're gonna love this, so let's get started. I'm gonna get started here by adding a cup of softened butter to a mixing bowl, followed by a cup of granulated sugar. And I'm just gonna pause here for a sec, guys. You notice what difference three years can make? The quality of the video is a lot better because we bought a new camera. The narration gets a whole lot better with some new mic and audio equipment. This, I should mention too, was also shot in the sunny Philippines. And we moved from Korea in 2014, or actually 2013, I guess, to the Philippines. And what a, what a culture that shock that was, I mean, it was just so different being in Korea than being in the Philippines in a matter of a few hours. Everything in the Philippines was so much more bustling, so much more busy. Um, it was very high tech in Korea. It wasn't all that high tech in the in the Philippines, but the people were beautiful and, and the place was just wonderful. Just a beautiful country. We spent two years there and did a lot of filming. And this is one of, the, one of the videos we shot there. And what we did is we moved from an apartment in Korea, we had two or three apartments there, different apartments, to kind of a townhouse in the Philippines. So we had to do a whole bunch of carpentry work and, and cosmetic stuff that like to make it look good for filming. 
I'm really looking forward to your comments in the comments section below, just telling me what you think of the differences in the video and the quality. Now, notice here we're using an oven, and uh, ovens are just heard, unheard of in the Philippines and in many parts of Asia. So we had to buy this oven specially. We actually bought it in Korea. It was a special order, and we took it to the Philippines with us, but very hard there to get. And again, some ingredients are really hard to get there, like whipping cream is hard to get. You just don't get it at the, the general store or the grocery store. You pretty much have to go to the city Manila or Makate City to get a lot of this stuff. So again, we had to improvise and make it from scratch. Well, not the whipped cream, but we had to make a lot of it from scratch. So my friends, that was our Victoria sponge cake shot in the Philippines. It actually was an awesome cake. Another one I would encourage you to go back and watch and maybe give it a try. Up next is our wonderful Panna Cotta from 2016. Oh, hi guys. Today we're making up a delicious classical dessert with a tropical twist to it, mango panna cotta. I know you're gonna to wanna to make this, so let's get started. I'm gonna get started here with 250 milliliters of heavy cream or whipping cream. And if you notice here, guys, the narration gets a whole lot better. Um, we invested more equipment or more money into audio equipment, new mics and stuff like that. Uh, the camera, we got another camera, so the video got a lot better. Um, just a whole bunch better overall. Don't tell anybody, especially my partners in this business, but I am thinking of getting a new camera and some lenses to make things even better. But Shh, on that one, transfer the mixture into the glass of your choice. You can use just about anything for this. Then slip it in the fridge until it sets up, and this will take, oh, I'd say about two hours. And you probably noticed, like, the environment has changed. The environment's a lot brighter. The kitchen is brighter. You're going to see some white cabinets there. All that stuff makes the world of a difference in a video. We moved from the Philippines back to Canada. It was interesting because I hadn't seen Canada or North America in, oh, my goodness, I have to say eight years since I left. So it was kind of a real treat being here, but I still miss Korea and I still miss Phil the Philippines and all the places I visited. But this is a marked difference in quality. Then just chill it in the fridge for half an hour to an hour until it's set. After about an hour, it's set up beautifully. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slip a couple of mint leaves over the top for presentation purposes. And there you have it guys, our super yummy mango panna cotta. This is so good, guys. It's rich, it's creamy. The mango, simply out of this world. You've got to make this. So, guys, that was our delicious panna cotta, another one worthwhile trying. And again, please leave a comment below and let us know what you think of the progression of videos as far as improvement. I hope they're improving anyway. Now, next up is our last video from 2021, and I have to admit this is one of my favorite videos, is Cowboy Casserole. How y'all doing there? Cowboy Dave here. I was down at the OK Corral, and I got a my hunger, so I thought I might make me up, me and the boys, some of this wonderfully delicious cowboy casserole. Came out great. You got to try it for your family and the cowboys around you. Now, there are a few things different in this video, guys. Uh, we bought a new video editor, so we got some really cool special effects. And in my humble opinion, I might be biased, but this video is really underrated in terms of the uh, special effects in there and stuff um you know so, some new audio equipment again so it makes an incredible difference i just and and the effects the the cowboy hat and all that and this is not narrated 
this is live, so I was wearing the lapel mic. So you can tell me what you like better, either the narration or the live lapel mic, or whether it really doesn't matter. But I think this is a pretty good video. And we'll just saute this for a minute or two. Now we've sauteed this in that wonderful aroma of the onion and garlic and fill the air. I'm going to add in a can of baked beans. And this is beans with molasses. I mean, it wouldn't be a cowboy casserole without beans. Half a can of peaches and cream corn. You can use whatever corn you like. I just love peaches and cream. Half a cup of my wonderful Montreal barbecue sauce. And you can use your own sauce, whatever you like. I just like this. And of course, the world wouldn't be complete without some salt. And you can hear this coming, my all-time favorite, some ground black pepper. You'll notice I'm not saying a whole lot here because there isn't a lot to say. The video kind of speaks for itself. Heat it through. I'm going to kill the heat. And I'm going to add this to my casserole dish. Now I'm going to slip this into a 425 degree Fahrenheit, 220 Celsius, preheated oven for about 20 to 22 minutes. Or you can do it around the campfire. Mm. Guys, this is so good. So I should add, guys, before I go, I'm going to take my little doggy and mosey off into the sunset. One last thing I'm going to say, some people comment, oh, you've got a dog in the video and a food video. You know, my response is, come on. <laughs> So for this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool stuff there. Keep you busy for days. Sorry, I'm still chewing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. And see you next time. And that was our cowboy casserole from 2021. So guys, that concludes our four videos spanning over 10 years. I hope you've noticed a marked improvement from 2011 all the way up to 2021. I know I have. I should mention that some of the videos you saw here, the audio quality and the video quality aren't what they're like in the real video because I had to convert from one format to another to get myself in there, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's been really fun doing and it's been awesome over the last 10 years making these videos. I hope we're gonna do another 10 years. And just wait, we have 40,000 more subscribers until we get that 1 million subscribers. And man, oh man, we're going to have a celebration then. We're going to be in Kingston in the new building, in the, in the new apartment. We're going to have a celebration. I'm going to light up the skies of Kingston with fireworks and we'll do everything live. So again, thanks for taking part in our celebration here. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys, and see you next time.